1045, the team, your home for you all, many great Dane sports and New York sports as a whole. Uh, this is a very cool interview because it's something I've never actually understood how it all works. We've got Lee Fitting. He's the producer for ESPN's College Game Day. So, Lee, what exactly goes into picking a location uh, each week for College Game Day? Uh, it's, a, it's a process, guys, that really doesn't have any rhyme or reason. The mantra that we like to use, and a lot of folks I don't think know this or understand this, is we like to go to the best story of the weekend. Not the best game of the weekend, but the best story of the weekend is sort of the umbrella that we work under. How far out are you guys planning for a destination for that weekend? Week to week. We decide uh, you know, on a given Saturday night where we're going the next week. And again, most weeks we have an idea of where we're going a week or two down the road, but the final decision is typically not made until midnight on Saturday or at some point Sunday morning for the next week. That's intense. So, like, Lee and everybody has no idea where they're going to be this uh, this weekend. Well, this weekend they know, but the following weekend. No, nobody has any idea where we're going next week. We have a list of five, six, seven, eight games on paper, Uh, you know, a couple leading candidates, but no one has any idea. Like, next week we have Tennessee at A&M. It's probably on top of our list, but, you know, Tennessee going to Georgia on Saturday and lose. We have Alabama at Arkansas, one loss Arkansas. Nice game, number one team on the road out there. Washington at Oregon. There's a list of games every week. We have no idea. we got to see it. we got to see the games uh, play out on Saturday. If a school has never hosted college game day before, are you guys more likely to take them? Again, there's no that, – that, that doesn't matter. You know, we – we go where the best story is every week. If it means we go back to Alabama for the 900th time because we think it's the best story, great. Or if we decide to go to North Dakota State or James Madison or Harvard or Williams College because there's a great story that week, then we're going to go there. And we're, you know, we're lucky. Our bosses and my bosses give us a very long leash in deciding where we go. And it doesn't matter if the game's on ESPN or ABC or CBS or NBC or Fox or not televised. We go where we think we can put on the most compelling content. And you know, I love going to schools and campuses that we've never been. I'm a big advocate of that. I push it. I like doing things different. I like educating the college football fan on other stories that are out there. So I am always looking for once or twice or three times a year where that makes them into play. We've got ESPN's college uh, game day producer Lee Fitting on the phone with us right here. Uh, LeVac and Gaz. 104.5 the team. So Lee, let me just like, I got a story for you. Uh, we've got a CAA team. It's uh, you know recently moved up to the FCS level. Maybe they beat Buffalo this year in a big upset in uh, U Albany, taking on nationally ranked Richmond. Of by the way, Albany is also nationally ranked. Uh, you know maybe just maybe consider Albany, New York for college game day next week. So that's October eighth. Is that what you're saying? Correct. Yes, sir. And what what are the rankings there? Help me out on my FCS. Uh, Leader. Richmond right now is ranked seventh in the country. They've won a national championship in their program's history. Albany is undefeated and ranked twenty first in the country. So we got a top ten team on the road, potentially top five at a top twenty school. Conference at the FCS level. All right, so we saw Richmond last year uh, at James Madison. So there's a history there. It's not unprecedented. It's not something we're scared of. Uh, no promises here, but I, what, what I will do is I will have Chris Belika, the bear, or statistician, the guy that knows everything. I will make sure that today he adds that to our internal to-be-considered list for next week. Lee, you just made our day. We love you for this. We love just having the opportunity. When, when does the announcement of where you guys are going to be get, get made? It'll, this week it will happen likely Saturday night in an ideal world. Fowler and Herbie make the announcement at some point during the Clemson-Louisville game on ABC Saturday night. Lee Fitting, the game day producer from ESPN, uh, nice enough to come on the air with us. And Lee, uh, we will hold signs. We'll bring the food up to the boys. Whatever you need. We will be the uh, security escort when they go through the crowd. Whatever you need from us to make this happen. We'll send all the people to make sure to hashtag Great Danes for game day to you on Twitter as well to make sure you're continuing to hear the back and the support of the Albany Capital Region here. Let's go. Send them my way. I'd love it. It's a home game for us. A couple hour drive from Bristol. It sounds good to me. Lee, thank you so much, man, and uh, best of luck, and we look forward to seeing you on the 8th. All right. Go Danes.